Okay, ladies and gents. So here is the NERG Ice Rock Plus 4045. Fully pimped out with all the pouches. And um, it's looking pretty badass, I have to say. On the previous video, uh, when I showcased this pack and its features, I mentioned how the PALS webbing on the side here was going to be extremely hard or practically it felt impossible to get through this last bit but as you can see after uh, quite a bit of work and uh, quite a bit of patience involved persistence paid off and uh, <laughs> it took like half an hour on two separate attempts so maybe an hour in total just to weave this last bit of uh, molly uh, through the PALS webbing so that was incredibly hard and uh, but it's doable as you can see so after all you know stuff like that is just the cherry on the cake for me it just works perfectly and it makes use of this space really really nicely and um, these are the Blackhawk pouches canteen pouches which you may have uh, seen on a previous video I um, showcased how they're really really snug it's a really snug fit and um, initially I bought them for my Blackhawk SOF rock but they were just too snug um, and uh, made it incredibly hard to uh, get in and out of or especially back in uh, and um, at least while wearing the rock but in this case um, they work really really well because if I'm gonna take my pack off, you know, swing it around and access my water bottles, I really like the snug fit. They don't, you know, wobble around. And uh, yeah, it just works really, really nicely in this case because you have the 3x3 three three of uh, Pals webbing here, three rows, um, and then three rows. And it just works nicely, really, really nicely. And uh, here we have a pouch by MDOM USA. Also got that from another retailer. Bought a, bu a bunch of pouches and was able to talk down the price. And this works nicely here. And I'm able to run yet another canteen in there. So that's four external canteens. You know, hooked on to the, um, hooked on externally to the pack, and uh, they just, they just work really, really well. I'm really, really happy with this uh, setup, and um, this pack. Uh, <laughs> most, uh, most of the times, I'm pimping a pack out with pouches, but in this case, um, I think it's more of a or a case of uh, pimping the pouches out with a pack <laughs> because I, I had these uh, Blackhawk canteen pouches and um, I just wanted to put them to use I put them up for sale and drove the price down I saw no one was snatching them up so I uh, thought about you know what maybe they just need a pack um, to work with and uh, this setup just works really really nicely it just looks pretty badass also I um, added a pair of straps that I recycled off my Italian army pack which I ended up selling but before I did so I took the frame out and all the usable straps and uh, these work pretty pretty well in here it's just perfect if I wanted to roll up a, you know like a, a rain jacket or something in there because um, this is gonna be uh, basically um, an alternative to my uh, Alice pack to my medium Alice pack for my day hikes and if it's going to replace well not replace but if it's going to be you know an alternative uh, to my medium Alice for day hikes then it has to be able to perform as well as my medium Alice which in this case means carrying three pouches, I mean, three canteens 
in um, externally at least three canteens because that's what I end up using the uh, three external pouches for. And uh, so yeah, at least three canteens at a fourth. That makes a total of 3.6 liters. That's uh, enough for a day hike, more than enough. And uh, yeah, it just works really, really well. On here, we just have another admin pouch by Helicon Tex. Also got this from the same uh, uh, from the same guy that sold me this pack, and uh, yeah, I'm just keeping fruit bars, you know, power bars in there. So uh, and uh, just a plastic bag, a nice big garbage bag, and an another Ziploc bag in case I want to waterproof my phone or stuff like that. On the other side, just another small utility pouch again which came with the pack by Defcon 5 so yeah another small pouch for my phone and what can I say guys that's pretty much it let's give it a, a look from this side here you know with the pouches they work really really nicely as you can see it just fits really nicely on the pack could have been even a little bit lower but you know even up to this height it just works really really nicely you know aesthetically speaking and uh, also you know practically speaking just because it's um it's quite handy to have the pouches actually up top and uh, this this pack what one feature i really love about this pack is that it seems to uh sit upright by itself there you go so when you put the pack down, you don't have to worry about it flopping down and, uh, you know, holding it in place. So it's a really nice uh, feature. Part of that is uh, due to the frame, I suppose, to the design of the frame, which also reminds me. I don't know if you can tell, but it has a bit of an S shape. Let me put this like so bit of an S shape uh, back padding ever so slightly and uh, yeah this rides really comfortably you know it just follows the contour of your spine and uh, rides really comfortably as well with the uh, hip pad really thick hip pad so what can I say guys first impressions pretty good looks pretty badass aesthetically speaking you know it has its look and uh, I'm keen to try this sometime soon, and uh, I'll let you guys know what it uh, what it feels like, you know, how it rides. And uh, obviously, I love the functionality of having a clamshell opening, and um, that's one another feature that really drew me to this pack. But now, as you can see, with all the pouches, it looks pretty. Pretty badass, I have to say. I'm pretty happy with the end result. So, what can I say, guys? Thank you, uh, as always, for uh, your attention. And uh, I'll let you know how this thing rides as soon as possible. So stay tuned, and uh, see you on the next one.